I am very excited about these little guys. They just showed up from Musicar, which is a high-end audio company in Oregon. I'm working with Nick over there, and they're really friendly, really good company. These are tweeter upgrades. The guys over at Musicar developed these tweeter upgrades to replace the standard tweeters in the 991 series Porsches. They're based on the Denadio Esotec MD-102s, so really good speakers. I'm going to pop them in in place of the Burmester tweeters I've got in there now, do a little audio shootout. So this kit comes with two tweeters. I love, love how big these magnets are. Super solid build quality. And Musicar gives you a uh, tool to do some of the trim removal that we'll have to do to get these in, and then a little hex wrench. Okay, I am going to unscrew these here. Okay, let's take a let's take a closer look. This tweeter upgrade. Uh, so this part is milled plastic, and that'll fit in the spot of the old Burmester tweeter. And then this is a harness that'll fit onto the stock harness, so no cutting, no splicing, nothing like that. A nice heavy speaker. This is a 1.1 inch soft dome tweeter speaker. I'll put a link into the description box. You guys can check out the specs if you want. Let's go put these in. So this is all online in Music Cards video, but I'll just do it here for fun. Has a harness here, just leave that hanging. Shouldn't cause a problem. And then we're gonna pull this vent out. I've gotta access a clip that's back under this speaker grill. There we go. It's coming out. Okay. And we'll put a rag here. So that little metal clip up there is what we've got to pinch and we can push this speaker grill up here out. So we just need some needle nose pliers and we'll get in there and crimp that up. And I've got the Burmester vent removed. I didn't break the vent. I did manage to break one of the clips. I'm going to show you guys the clips. This is the Burmester tweeter grill. These two back clips are no problem. But this front clip, this clip is a beast and I ended up shredding it a bit while I was pulling it out. So here is the Burmester ribbon tweeter. So we're gonna pull these three screws up and we're gonna put in the new music car tweeter. Gotta find a bit. Figure out some way to get that in there at a 90 degree angle. This is my super high-tech hack. I've got my bit here and then my crescent wrench. And I can unscrew these. Don't drop your bit in there. This has been removed. This is the old Burmester tweeter. It's super heavy, but I think a lot of that's because it's encased in this metal housing. Looks like pretty thick metal, too. I am going to pop in the new Musicar tweeter and fire it up. All right, the new Musicar speakers are installed. I installed it in the uh, left side first, and I tried to pan the, the sound back and forth between the two sides. The Burmester sounded a little bit harsher, but louder. And sometimes we can misinterpret volume for a better sound tone or quality. But it really sounded like the Musicar tweeters were better, fuller, not so harsh and piercing. So I put the other one in. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna put this stuff back in because um, once you get that clip out, you don't need to have these things hanging here anymore. And I'm gonna leave that clip off so I can pull the grills on and off more easily. Those sound really good. Yeah. I'm doing my testing. I am running with this live setting. It really makes everything sound full uh, and I enjoy that and then of course you know you've got these other settings here that you've got to tweak with 
So what I'm finding is that the treble on these Esotec MD-102s seems to be a little lower than the ribbon tweeters from the Burmester. So when I adjust this to compensate for that, this center speaker up here, uh, that's just a stock Burmester speaker, so it, it ends up a little shrill. I've stuffed a rag up there. I can say from my testing, I definitively prefer this speaker covered with a rag. That doesn't completely mute the sound, but it's definitely filtering out um, some of the noise from the speaker. So I might try and fashion some little cover for that because I actually think it sounds a lot better. Anyway, so these are the settings that I'm using right now. I've got the fade set a little bit to the front, uh, balance, of course, to the center, although some people do prefer to shift it. Uh, and then I've got a treble down two and my bass down two. Uh, the bass gets kind of boomy in the live mode, so that's why I typically lower it a bit. So obviously with a cone type tweeter, you're getting better dispersion. It's not so directionally focused like it is with a ribbon speaker. And I really do think that that makes a difference. I really feel like the sound from the tweeters fills the cabin area a bit better. And, and these are much less shrill. When I crank the volume with these Burmester tweeters, it's really piercing. When these are cranked, you just don't get that piercingness. It's not as shrill. Uh, and it's not, it's not a sibilance issue. I really do feel like the speakers from Musicar are better quality overall. And I mean, I guess, you know, with the Esotec MD-102s running, I think they're 350, 375 a pair. You know, they're, they're a good speaker. And, uh, and Musicar's made a, a nice custom mount and put out this uh, really good product. So I think in terms of audio quality, I do think these are better. The rest of the, the stereo seems to respond pretty well um, in terms of how it matches with these, these Musicar speakers. So I haven't done any road testing with the Musicar tweeters yet, so I probably have to go do that. Actually, maybe we can go do that right now. Having driven around a bit, there's no question that I'd prefer the Musicar uh, tweeters. It's much easier to listen to music. The same music, you know, A-B testing in so much as that's possible. I definitely prefer the music car tweeters. Uh, I'm going to leave the music car tweeters in there and I would recommend them even as an upgrade to the Burmester tweeters. Music car sends new new hardware that you can use uh, and some, some new clips to put the screws in. But if you have the Burmester system already, you don't have to use that. So I just reuse the stock hardware. The speaker grills are back in. Uh, I've got to figure out what to do here. Uh, I think I'm actually going to cover this because I like the sound from the center channel more subdued. So that is the Musicar tweeter upgrade. And uh, overall, it uh, went pretty smoothly. The removal and installation of the speakers is pretty straightforward. And I think anybody can handle that all right. Well, that's it for this time. And we'll catch you next time when I do more stupid shit.